and welcome to a beautiful day here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, in Razorback Stadium, where they will be hosting one of the best home schedules in the country this year with visits from the likes of Alabama and LSU and Florida. And it starts today with Louisiana Tech. And the Razorbacks are ready to run free from the hog pen. Drew Morgan, who will be back for the backs. Underway in Fayetteville, and Morgan will take a knee. A in team the that zone. gives up a lot of sacks. Third down and long. Allen with some time, throwing for the first down. And it is intercepted. Did he stay in bounds? Yes, he did. It's Xavier Woods. Designed quarterback run gets a terrific block and Louisiana Tech finds the end zone first. Hatcher is the motion man. He tries to get a block for Williams who gets the edge in the first down across the 35. He's from Denmark and he's uh, transferred over. This is his first start of his career as an offensive lineman. Yelda Froholt who first started playing as an exchange student in Ohio. Now providing some protection. Out into the flat, Morgan. Stepped out of bounds at the 49. Allen, they pick up the rush, and he delivers Hatcher down to the 31. And the senior from Owasso. Play action with Walker. And on the rollout, he's got his tight end, Jeremy Sprinkle, down inside the 20. And they'll move the chains again. We. Get our first look at the all of Williams, the cutback to the left, and he's in. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Burnham Butler is not on this team anymore. Yep. He was the first round draft pick of Carolina. They set up the screen, and it's a good one. First down out to the 40 for Wally Williams. And after the interception yards. has been perfect, four for four. 55 yards as he engineered a long scoring drive to tie it up at seven apiece. And he's got Keon Hatcher into Tech territory and a first down. Do it. He's a huge guy. Yeah, he's, uh, again, the total package. Big burst up the middle. Williams to midfield and a Fourth first and down. Eight. Allen fires and it's caught for the first down. And the spin move from Keon Hatcher inside the 20. It ends to the left side this time. On the boot, Allen looks to the end zone, diving at the goal line and caught for a touchdown. Jared Cornelius. It's for a touchdown. Best thing about this is he stayed flat coming across the field. They're trying to make sure that he had control of the football. Tough to see there. It looks like it kind of rolled down his body a little bit. Watch the football, see if we can see any movement. Again, LaTeX's body, his defensive back. He roamed his field, knew everybody, cut punch with him, did all these things. Coach, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Rocky, and the interception by Dre Greenlaw. And the turnover yeah. goes to the hall. They'll use him as the decoy, and Allen throws downfield, and they are back in the red zone on the catch by Drew Moore. On second and 17, Williams picks up the blitz, and it's thrown to a texter on the run. The second interception for the Bulldogs. At Smith rifles it for the first down inside the 30 to Trent Taylor. No Trent Taylor out there for this play. Smith will look elsewhere, and he's got a target down inside Again. the five. It's Marcus Kraft with Smith. Who's got the football? Jared Kraft. Did he break the plane? They raised their arms up the referee. 
Kraft is the offset back. He'll get the carry. Following his blocker, Carpenter right up the middle. Across midfield and down inside the 40. And will there be a second left off? On its way, and it is no good wide right. Halftime in Fayetteville, the return of the former Fayetteville High School quarterback, Skip Holtz. And Brett Bielema. Jared Kraft is the offset back, along with Jamar Smith, is not only first career start, his first career game today. Kraft bursting out to midfield and a first down. Out of the hold of Logan McPherson, and this one is good. That breaks the tie. Louisiana Tech is in front. Five men come and Smith drops it off for Kraft. He gets a nice block on the edge and down he goes. The far sideline 20 yards out. out to add to the lead. And he does. Jamar Smith goes three for four on that drive for 56 yards to move them down the field. Allen will pitch it to Raleigh Williams. Williams motors out to the 35 and close to the first down. A couple of deep trips upfield for Louisiana Tech, and this time Smith cannot get out of the grass. Well, the on rushing defender push for a touchdown, and we'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. A 39 yarder from Barnes, and it's off the upright, no good. He has made two. He also has the one touchdown pass to Cornelius. So keep it on the ground. Nice hole for Williams out across the 40 yard line for the first down. Xavier. And why not give it to him again across midfield and close to another first down. Morgan is slotted right. Allen. Feels the pressure, tries to elude it, takes a hard hit, and delivers a strike to Keon Hatcher, first down. The extent of the deep damage. On second and goal, Allen drops it off underneath. Hatcher will try and use those legs. He muscles his way inside the 10 and down to the 7. Sprinkle the tight end. Allen on the rollout, looking to throw back against the grain, and he's got his man, touchdown, Jeremy Sprinkle. Fourth down. all tight ends in the SEC, and misdirection, watch, everybody's going right, and then Sprinkle's crossing across the field, gets behind the defense, and Jalen Ferguson is in the show up here. From tipping Jamar Smith in trouble, down he goes. His helmet pops off as he's sacked back inside the 40 wow. by Wise and Tolliver. Welcome he to the just game. was determined to get to the quarterback on that side. He had a little help by Mr. Ledbetter, the other leader for this defense. And if he decides to go for it on here and not try to draw him off sides, this is that belief that he has in his guys. And Tech only has two timeouts. Fourth and inches. They will snap it. They will run it with Cody Walker. He tries to get the pad level low, and the push is good for the first down. And that'll do it well, as the play game. clock uh, resets to 40. Not enough time. And the Hogs can let it run down and get out of here with a 21-20 win. Listen, the defense...